Next from MySQLi is the ability to update. So we have the ability to create information. So we've connected, we've created, and we've put it into place here, and we've listed it down here. Now, to update it, what we want to do is just give the ability to change the name. So what we'll do is we'll jump in our code here, index. Underneath here, let's echo out a line break. Ah, horizontal rule, sorry. And then under here, let's go list for update. So DB connect here as such. Notice this is almost exactly the same thing as what we've already done. So if we go into our functions, we'll take a copy of our list users. Come to here and we'll go function. When we do that, we'll just paste that in and we'll go list update. So this does exactly what we want. Select star from users, it produces it here. Now it just has the name showing. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an update capability to it. So we've copied it here, we've changed the name to update. Let's turn this into a form where we can actually allow them to, uh, the end user to actually see what they're changing. So inside here, let's put in our form start. So we'll go echo. And we'll go form method equals post action equals pages slash update dot php. Now the interesting thing about this is that we've put this in a slightly wrong position. So we'll just cut that out and we'll put it in our loop. So each link here will become an actual form itself. And we can close it off like this. So this, and we go slash form here. Now, so method, post, action. Now, in this point here, we can access each individual element. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed across. Let's take this guy out. Let's just take out this entire line, and we'll work from here. So in here, we're going to echo out input type equals ext, and we'll go value equals as such, and then we'll put a line break after that. Now the value is going to be the name. So here we put in a single quote, dot, dot, single quote. So we're breaking the string, we're re-adding the string, plus line row, row here, single quote, name, and then we can go echo, input type equals submit, value equals update, I'll close that off, we'll get rid of that break here, don't forget the semicolon. Now, from here, this looks like it will work but it is missing a key piece of information. We want to send over the user's ID as well. And so that's what makes it unique. So we're going to go echo, and we're going to go input type equals hidden, which means the end user is not going to see it. We're going to go value equals like so. Now, things that we've got to add as well. Name, this is going to be our username. This, we're going to have a name of uh, ID and our value here will be dollar sign row, row square bracket, single quote, and we'll put in ID. So let's review. So the form is a method post. We're sending it to the update page. Then we're sending over a variable post called username and it's going to put the name in. So whatever they change it to, that's what's going to be there. We're sending over the ID, and then from here, when we submit it, that should take us to the page. So let's save this, come back to our page, refresh. Notice here, I've got an error that says DB connect is wrong on line 26. So we come into here, 
and we go that's where my typo was db connect save come back refresh now i've got two forms each of which i can change and when i click to update it will actually go to the update page now we need to make the update page the update page is pretty much the same as our add page so we're going to go file save as we'll change this to update with php now we're collecting the username which is good we also need to collect the id so let's go dollar sign id equals dollar sign underscore post id okay so let's save so this username and id is this username and this id so they come into here and let's send through dollar sign id and username to update data and then just send us back excellent so let's save that now we've got to create a brand new update procedure so we'll copy that new function so it's going to here scroll down function here to do this what we're going to do is we're going to write our sql like so so we're going to sql equals i'm going to go update users and we're going to set the field so it's the field is name so set name equals single quotes we'll go sign username where id equals our dollar sign id so here name and id and users that's the information that we put inside php my admin username we feed in id we feed in once we've got it we now want to run it and test it so we can go if my sql i underscore query bracket dollar sign db connect dollar sign sql put in our curly braces from here what we want to do is basically want to say echo get record updated else okay able to update and then we'll do dot and then we'll go dollar sign db connect dollar sign db connect here and we'll put in the error so we can actually see if something's gone wrong okay so let's save that let's see how we go so we jump into here we'll take scott and we'll give him his last name summers update so the record updated we return and as you can see here the information has now been added if we do it with gene and return information has been updated refresh inside here the information is shown so the way this works once again is we list what we're after we then have a function here that gives each update its own little form and everything's linked up by its id we then showcase it capture the information here then we send it into our update data function here where we collect it and update the system